just say it, show it, or share it instantly. Nothing works like Polaroid. Make the move to Ford quality and value with Ford Escort. Four Escort models, one low price, and all equipped with air, stereo the works. Make the move. A Design News Magazine poll ranked Ford Escort number one above every import and domestic. And now, five of the ten best-selling cars and trucks in America are Fords. Make the move to your Tidewater Ford dealer now and find out just how good American quality can be. Wavy News 10 weather is brought to you by McDonald's and your local McDonald's restaurant. This is the goofiest May weather I can remember. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like this. Really, this is more uh, reminiscent of February-March weather yeah. as far as temperatures and the fact that we're getting a northeaster out of this whole situation. Let's have a look at what we've got going on. We're going to get right into a coastal flood warning uh, for our area and want to let you know a few things about the tides, especially, that we're going to be seeing. We've got uh, high tide midnight along the Outer Banks tonight. Tides already rising. 2 a.m. in the Hampton Roads area. 3 a.m. further on up the outer, or uh, further on up the eastern shore at Chincoteague. They're running two to five feet above, two and a half to three and a half feet above normal. That's a half a foot higher than earlier today. And of course, great big waves along the coast. Let's have a look at what's going on out there right now. A look at the James River Bridge and a look at our current conditions right now through the area. Light rain. It's tapering off a bit for now. Anyway, Norfolk 52, Newport News 51, the low last night 48, high for this afternoon 52 degrees. And that's all the warmer it's gotten. Uh, dew point is at 40, or excuse me, at 50, giving us a relative humidity of 93%. Winds are out of the east northeast to 26. They have been gusting to around 35, 37 miles an hour at times, and the barometer is falling at 30.05. Now, that east-northeast wind is coming in like that, is, as opposed to coming in like that. Uh, could be a harbinger of things to come, uh, but it may just be a fluke for right now, a temporary fluke. Uh, gale warnings are in effect for all area waters, uh, and we do have uh, temperatures generally, somehow I skipped over the weather watcher temperatures, but we do have temperatures generally around the 50-degree mark. However, six 60 degrees along the Outer Banks, Cape Hatteras. Now you can see, uh, I've mentioned it to you at 6 o'clock, that we're going to be looking at some heavy rain arriving in a couple of hours, and it did arrive at around 8.30, something like that, and we're able to see again some of this heavy rain sliding north-northwestward on throughout the area. Let's have a look at our own Doppler 10 radar, be able to see again some of this heavy rain moving on through the area, and then on up to the latest picture, we'll be able to see again it is starting to move uh, clear the area for now. Back to the computer, we're going to see some more rain, but again that was just one real good shot of some heavy rain moving on through the area. There's an upper level low here, a lower level low here, and again, the two are combining to pump in all kinds of moisture off of the Atlantic, and some very, very strong winds are building up between the low pressure, the storm itself, and high pressure, which normally brings clear, cold air. Uh, and the, between the two, we're getting a real good, strong squeeze play, and that high actually extends all the way on down into here, and that high, again, is giving us, uh, combined with the storm, is giving us a very, very strong winds and thus the tides have been running above normal. Uh, the wind acts like a bulldozer from now through Saturday morning. Again, it looks like this storm system is going to take the inland route, which is a good thing. It's a real good thing. It's going to take its time doing so and it's going to mess up our weekend. However, it could really mess things up if it went along the ocean route. It could stay strong, but when it goes inland, it looks like it'll fizzle out. It loses its source of energy, the ocean, and again, it loses its speed. Okay, wind and rain overnight tonight, 45 to 50 for an overnight low, strong northeasterly winds 30 to 40 miles an hour on into uh, tomorrow. We're looking for more wind and rain, but slow improvement. 55 to 58 for a high. Northeast winds becoming more easterly. Later in the day, I think it'll be more of a scattered showery type of thing. Maybe even a few thunderstorms for tomorrow night. Stars and clouds, a few showers and thunderstorms. Note the southeasterly winds. 52 for an overnight low. And then Saturday, some scattered showers and thunderstorms. 65. Southerly winds at 15 to 20. We're going to see slow improvement, and it should begin later tomorrow. But again, we've got a couple of high tides to live through. I think our worst one is going to be tonight, a little bit higher than the one last night and at noontime. But again, it's not a significant major northeaster. We are going to see some problems out of it, though. Okay, thanks, Don. Okay. Coming up next on Wavy News, a sales pitch, too good to be true, leaves a buyer without the goods. Here's a really hot deal from McDonald's and Busch Gardens. These discount coupons get you $3.50 off regular or new child's admission price. You can even try the sizzling new drop and fire roller coaster, if you can take the heat. Busch Gardens discount coupons from McDonald's, the hottest tickets in town. 
McDonald's takes you back to the good old days. Back to a simpler time when cars had fins, rock was king, and a cheeseburger deluxe was 99 cents. All during the month of May, you can get a cheeseburger deluxe for just 99 cents at McDonald's. So be there or be square. What concerns me isn't that Eleanor's gone, it's that she might come back. If everyone's gone this weekend, don't panic. They're at Ames Mother's Day sale. If Darla's going to find herself, I don't think she's going to be back for a while. 25% off all ladies' summer apparel, lingerie, and every accessory. And 60 to 75% off every piece of fine jewelry. I'm hauling her weenie, and poof! My Doris is gone! The Ames Mother's Day sale, starting tomorrow. People may disappear, but don't worry, they'll be back. Now, held over, a coast-to-coast -coast savings event. Announcing the National Jeep Sale at your Jeep and Eagle dealer, where you can still save over $2,900 on the rugged Jeep Cherokee. Plus, save up to $900 on the freedom-loving Jeep Wrangler. These offers mean stock is selling fast, so see your Jeep and Eagle dealer today, because while our vehicles know no limits, our sales do. Get the advantage at your local Jeep and Eagle dealer. As a physician, I prescribe Rogaine for my patients to help them with their hair loss. But Rogaine is only one answer to the problem. You see, there are many reasons for hair loss, and a patient must first understand the cause before he or she is able to choose the right solution. And that is why we're offering you this free video. It explains the reasons for hair loss, as well as the answers available to you. Call the Professional Hair Institute now for your free video on the causes of hair loss and the solutions available to you. Call now. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. A price that just can't be passed up. Well, that's what one Virginia Beach woman thought she'd found when a salesman came knocking at her door. Our 10 on your side's Melissa Charbonneau reports on a magazine offer that sounded too good to be true. If a magazine salesman came to your door, would you let him in? Dottie Pereira did after getting a phone call saying she'd won a free subscription. An hour later, a salesman showed up with a contract. American Marketing Services offered Dottie a deal she couldn't refuse. Six monthly magazines for 60 months. I was going to pay it two times, $12.48. And so that was going to you thought you were paying a total of what? $25. That was for, it? For, for 60 months of magazines, because that's the way she said. The price was right, so Dottie signed on the dotted line. But when her husband read the fine print, to, the numbers so didn't why. add up. I realized that she was going to end up paying close to $800 for these magazines. Manny canceled the contract just in time. He came to the company's office in Virginia Beach and demanded a refund. But when we asked American Marketing for an interview today, the president declined to comment. But the Pereira should get their money back. Under the FTC cooling off rule, buyers have three days to cancel purchases made in the home if they cost more than $25. Just so you don't need this law, understand what you're getting into before you sign a contract. If I hadn't have looked at this when I did, we would have been stuck with that bill. I'm Melissa Charbonneau, Wavy News 10. American Marketing Services says it plans to mail the couples a refund check on Friday. And one reminder for anyone considering a magazine contract, ask about the total cost and get it in writing before you make a commitment. <laughs> Coming up next in sports, Bruce will have highlights of tonight's Knicks-Bulls game. And another spectacular crash at Indy. That's all coming up next. Wavy TV and Falvaline are proud to honor Hampton Roads Athletes of the Week. He is one of the best ever to play basketball in Hampton Roads. Six foot three inch point guard Michael Evans has been the main man at Booker T. Washington for the past three seasons. Evans was named the Area Player of the Year. He's a parade All-American and he's been sought after by almost every big name basketball school in the country. He's narrowed his choices down to the University of Virginia and Old Dominion. He expects to make his decision later this month. But right now, Michael Evans is the Area Athlete of the Week. Mark and my relationship goes way past business. Throughout the race, the driver and crew chief communicate. The driver complains about the car or brags about the car. It's the crew chief's job on pit stops to make whatever fixes he can to help the driver's predicament. Everyone has about the same access to equipment and technology, but the people who rub on it the most and think the most of it and think about it the most will end up winning the race. Get a Mark Martin Valvoline squeeze bottle free with one professionally installed Valvoline oil change or case purchase. 
What can one person do? Somewhere, a worker is hired, and a family is sheltered, educated, and loved. Because somewhere, the choice is made to buy American. At Walmart, we buy American whenever we can, so you can, too. Someone's counting on it. What can you do? Tonight on Late Night, Dave keeps it in the family with Jay Leno. Party! Party! Plus, the frugal gourmet slips Dave the tongue tonight. And in our dream house, we'll have a workshop. And a big family room. And a heat pump we can really count on. Nothing but the best. Must be true love. Must be a Lennox. I'm Dave Nisley of Nelson & Smith. Since 1948, we've been providing professional service, comfort, and quality installations in homes just like yours. Since 1948. Call Nelson & Smith today. Now, see your local dealer for special savings. If you're driving over 200 miles an hour, <laughs> you're going to expect to have an Can accident. you imagine hitting a wall? No. It happened again. Another terrible accident at Indy. Yesterday, it was Rick Mears. Today... P. Nelson P.K., a three-time Formula One champion, his first time in Indianapolis, hits the wall. Let me take you to the brickyard. P.K. was taken to the hospital, reportedly to be awake, alert, with a concussion. Okay, meanwhile, moving on to basketball, the New York Knicks trying for a playoff stranglehold on the Chicago Bulls. Didn't get it tonight. Michael and company, even the best of seven series, a one win apiece with an 86-78 to victory. And in the second game out west, Portland leads Phoenix 35-16 to at the end of the first period. Okay, hockey, the New York Rangers took Mario Lemieux out of the playoffs, and now they're threatening to do the same thing to the Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay, some of the nation's top women golfers are in town for what is supposed to be tomorrow's first round of the Crestar Farm Fresh LPGA Classic. But let me take you to the Greenbrier Country Club where a very wet John Castleberry spent the day. Absolutely miserable. Probably doesn't do justice as to how bad conditions were today at the LPGA Crestar Farm Fresh Classic Pro-Am. They played through and they want to continue playing. And uh, if it were the championship tournament, the players would be out there in this weather. So we feel like, well, it's a go if everybody wants to go with it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's cold, it's windy, and it is raining. But these amateurs have paid their money, $1,500 a pop, and they're going to play their 18 holes. At the risk of sounding ridiculous, are you guys having fun? <laughs> that was fun. The rest of it so far has been kind of tough. And while some played, others...